want you to join us for the full moon okay, fever my right here as well 54 on Church Street in New West tonight myself and DJ Drew gonna mix it up and party drop it <laughs> First thing in the morning, and there she is. That is. Not much to look at there, but I'm going straight in there now. a few little snaps so that the girls and Louise at home can see what's going on. So we've got Pat here, usual position in the kitchen. Making breakfast. Making breakfast. He's doing Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding, pudding, strawberry, and yeah, banana. And out the window you can just catch the jacuzzi, it's out there. That is the, this is the margarita, margarita hatch. Straight through there. <laughs> you know, uh, you'll be glad to know that Ben's friend, uh, Paul, is here. Remember Ben and Paul in the hot tub for four and a half hours? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Ben is here. Yeah. Uh, set for breakfast. Dutch babies, that's what they call Yorkshire pudding. By any other name. Here you go, Mexican for breakfast. Oh, we're having chili. Chili for breakfast. And you come through here. Now they walk off. Uh, it's tonight, isn't it? All right, this is the chair outside. Just sit and swing on. Out there. And that's the gorge over there with a. You can see the train. Let's have a quick look. There seems to be a train over there. Yeah, he just about make it. Alright. Just there, okay. 646 at 1-800-680-479 That's the central console. This thing here is like a rubbish compactor. Greg's <laughs> documenting this whole trip, isn't it? Video documentary. Yeah. You'll be a big part of that. Kirsty will be here today. Oh no! <laughs> she can take control of your camera. That's exactly. Yeah. Yep. Super coffee machine. Look, check the coffee machine out. This is the barista machine. Barista. Barista. <laughs> <laughs> Proper terminology, Benny. Well, yeah. It's barista and barone. Oh no. Barone is a uh, like. Uh, Excuse me, uh, You see that? That is gonna, he's gonna try and force somebody to eat that for breakfast, look. Can you imagine that? Having to eat that at breakfast? Oh my God. That's <laughs> what he cream. does, but that's what he does to us. Yeah, with cream, this is for the Germans. Cream, that's for the Germans, oh, it's okay. Cream, because we know the English like cream. Yeah. It's sausage for the Germans, because we know they love yeah, of sausage. Of course, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, it's cooked yeah. over gas for, yeah. for the Germans. Ah, Paul from Holland coming in, getting ready to go. Five years. Getting ready to go into shock.
Got a lot of wind today. And we're just going to go to White Salmon. So we'll check these kite guys out. Okay, this is typical scene. Dutch guys in jacuzzi. One to nil. You're one to nil. We won. We won. We're your next. Four nil. Is it four nil? Three nil. Uh huh. So you want to know if the fable of the Dutch guys dicks is real? It's true. <laughs> they say it's that for your aim. That's what we're looking I'm for. I'm afraid to tell you, it is true. <laughs> it is massive. <laughs> Well, I have to say, there are three people here waiting to find out. <laughs> and you're not one of them. <laughs> if you want, it'll, it'll be pretty. Okay, this is typical Sunday breakfast, <laughs> and this is what this is what the barbarians are about to eat. Look for breakfast. <laughs> the barbarians. 
<laughs> Look what they're going to do. Look, that's Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. And that's banana. Strawberries. But the, the sausage is still missing. And this, look, and they're going to put that with it. Things tiny. for both. Are you cold? Yeah, you have got to eat it, Benny. Yeah. Okay. Come on, just press it. Let's go. Well, so. Oh, you know, some of them okay. put it all together in the same mess on the plate. Can you believe that? Look, these are Dutch guys. Look what they're doing. You can get them just anyway. This guy's are just like dustbins. And that, at least that's separated, though. She's keeping it separate, so it's reasonably... So it's a, uh, like this maniac here, look what he's doing. My God. What are the things that they do? Just barbaric feeding habits that you find around the world. Ben, can you give me I'm going to ask Ed to put it in the mixer. Down there. Okay, this is the wall. The wall is the other thing. Yeah. Then it's up a surfer. It's surfing. Chico. Sure, yeah.
I, it's gone. My watch is broken. Oh. I, I changed the battery in it, You're and like then. The only uh, one I know that has a watch on it. No, it was it, a few minutes ago. It was uh, just twenty past two. Twenty past two. Yeah. So I guess about half two thirty now. So Grammy, you was there? I was there. Jumping like a... Jumping like an uncontrollable <laughs> idiot. <laughs> nice. Okay. Come from US, still from US, or a lot of them actually, yeah, because they're changing constantly. So yeah, I have a you look I mean, it's, it's beyond compute. Reflection is in four minutes. These things have got soft edges. This is softer than that. There's a ridge bar over the top. Yeah, now these are good. Cylindrical look. Quite sharp. Yeah, they're nice. Okay, tracks. Get two t two color straps. Yeah, surf leashes. Color inside. Let just check on that. Focus on it. Got color inside it. Let's see. Kainui team red. New closure. New logo on the closure. No. This is all new. I can't remember exactly what they were saying about it, but bodyboard leash. All got the yellow tag. Uh, this is a Photoshop. Um, okay, this is some kind of padded fin leash. Hold your fins on when you're swimming. Just a little strap affair. Everyone seemed to be excited about it, but I can't quite see why. <laughs> New logo on the fin leash. Another bodyboard fin leash. At long last, they've got a drop tail board bag. It's got a side zip. The tail drops. See that? Excellent. And then they've got, if you want to do the zip, the zip's on the top. So this is flat here. The zip's running along the side there. And then when you open the zip, it's got a rail protector there. This is a rail protector. Catch the light of that. So it doesn't scratch the ball with the zip. I don't know how much this is going to cost. That will all depend on the fact that the kind are going to make no margin this year on their ball bags at all, I heard them say. No. Is that right, Pat? <laughs> Just run me through that. The kind are going to make no margin on their board bags to get into the market. We always do that. Graham. Okay, I'm just going to play this back to you with this bow. This is an insert. It's like a board sack with padded top. You can see the padding ends there. Drawstring closure. And you can... Pretty good because it goes in the coffee yeah, bag. Yeah, it goes in the coffee bag. Price about like knit bags. Yeah. Price at, price at knit bag price? That's What's the price right of this? Pat, what was this? We're under knit bag. Are we under the knit bag price with this? Huh? Knit bag price? 
the knit bag isn't much uh, different than before. I know, no, no. The cost of this thing is and the knit bag. board condom thing. This is the bodyboard, <coughs> knit bag, the new logo. What's that do? That's the colors of the. Oh, these are colorways. Knit surf bags. Okay, colorways of the surf bags. Nice right. stripey, blue stripey. Kind of a charcoal black. rather than a yeah. black. Now there's a knit knit bag. <laughs> yeah. Okay, conventional knit bag. Woman's lycra, long sleeve. It's got some colorways this year. But now, but now you're, now you're videoing. Lycra, women's. Got it. Black and grey. Yeah, navy, blue, orange. Not sure about that colour. It's a bit. It's motor cross. Yeah, yeah, a bit suspect the colour. But there's no alternative to that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and black. Previous one was Polypro. This yeah, one's this Lycra. Lycra. That one is Polypro. This is Polypro. And this one is this that one in insulate stuff. No, this is the Polypro. That's Polypro too. Okay. And I think this red one is Polypro. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, this has got the titanium thing, and it feels a bit, a bit like a two mil neoprene. It's really neat, very comfortable. Yeah, with lycra sleeves. Yeah, so that's gonna, we'll sell them. I've done the traction. Coffin weightboard bag, not yet available with wheels, but they may think about it. Deluxe bodyboard bag, stuff. Uh, Long board, energy shield, no drop tail. And the lycra again. And the traction. And the leashes. Is there anything I've missed there? Those leashes look quite good. These. I don't know about the prices yet. A couple of hats, some cats, caps. This one's kind of cool. Got a nice feature on the peak here. They've got structured fronts, uh, flex fit. They're conventional, and that's a soft flex fit. Now, this is a flex fit sort of one size fits all hot hat, hot straps some new designs difficult to show you on this I've got them here English people English speaking people buy this pack they wear fox hats so, access pack the way everything is Hatching. Most technical surf pack known to man. Ever built. Ever History built. of all time. Check it out. You've got radio frequency welded seams, 100% waterproof wetsuit bag, cradles in this beaver tail, clip it in secure. As do roller blades. Bicycles, any, snowboard you ship, can put anything, anything you like in there. Say you're hiking, you got a fleece yeah, boots. there. You know, you take out anything can go on the back. Mm -hmm. Skateboard fits back here, um, but that allows you to free up all the room on the inside of your pack for other things besides your wetsuit. So you don't have to put your wetsuit inside here when you're going to the beach. Wetsuit goes on the outside, and if you don't want to bring your wetsuit with you. Yeah, you deploy that bag, bag. That's a good and you've got a nice yeah, that's just a, a uh, area for yeah. carrying fleas, or or skate, or 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 baby, the baby. <laughs> Strap the baby in there. <laughs> but cool <laughs> features. These compartments like this. Cell phone case, thermoform front yeah. panel, gives so it a little bit of protection. 
um, and, and it clips on like to the shoulder strap with the buddy lock. Is that cell phone case different than the one you buy separate? No, yeah, because that's the buddy lock. Right? But so. the rest of it is the same? Yeah. So, back panel, dry lex, mesh for moisture management, wicks the moisture away from your back, uh, raised pillows, so it gives you channels uh, for the air to flow, so it keeps you cooler. Um, yoke style, um, shoulder harness, very popular in the surf. Um, it's a good surf look. Uh, in front of the pack, you've seen this bungee. Zips. Uh, X ply, lightweight, very strong material. Zippers, YKK, reverse bail, waterproof, water resistant zippers. Where do you see those? You see them on Arc'teryx. Uh, you see them in a lot of uh, bonfires using them. Right. A lot of people are using these. But no storm flap. So it's a lot easier to use the zipper. You don't have that flap impeding right. you from zipping. So it's. You may see those on some of the winter packs next year. Possibly, Maybe. Yeah. And it's a lot more waterproof than a regular standard yeah. zipper. Hydration port. But through here, something, um, fleece lined sunglass power, pocket. Which is exactly where that pack is, where that bag is, where this bag is. Right? Little and organizer pocket. This is key because so not everybody's just going to use this pack just to go to the, the beach. The kid's going to want to have this thing so he can go to school. So you've got pens and pencils, place for your calculator, um, anything you need for school. Lots of little organizer pockets. Airline tickets. So if you're traveling, um, surf professionals traveling, you can slide uh, airline tickets in here. Nice little outer pocket. You might not have seen this. Damian caught it. It was a stealth pocket. Ah, stealth, drugs pocket. Nice, wax. nice side pocket for wax. It's tarp line for wax or any other little accessory you want. But it's nice to have another little accessory pocket. Cannabis. So. Coke. Yep. Okay. Um, inside. Inside's key. You've got, it's ah. light gray inside, so it lights up the inside of the pack. That's nice. CD pocket, MP3s fit in here, or whatever else you want to put. Um, you also have a mesh little pocket in here. And if you don't want your cell phone outside, you can put it. Mm -hmm. and try it. Inside. Cool. So this to me, we're look. trying to shoot, this thing's a hundred bucks, retail US. That's what we're shooting at. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's less than the... Uh, Is that 99.99? Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But this is the this is your flagship. This yeah. This is the one that's okay. going to be... That's flashy. It will have three.
get set up. The size of it compared to the about the size of that compared with the size of this Nash. That Nash must be a 5-0, is it? Very close. Big 5-0. Yeah, 5-5. Five five. Compared to that flexi. And when we go to sell this stuff, something else I want to tell you is that I'm happy to print long sleeve shirts. That's what, that's what you guys need. You got to sing out. You got to say, look, we need long sleeve shirts. Because whether I'm printing short sleeve or long sleeve, it's all the same to me. I'm, I'm printing. I'm just either tucking the sleeves under the palette or I'm not. And it's, it's, it's a minor deal. So don't let the idea that I'm showing you all short sleeve shirts make you guys go, well, I can't sell a short sleeve shirt. 
So this is the Mountain logo. You guys saw it in the catalog, but it, but but uh, there was some confusion in the beginning, and and uh, it didn't get displayed too well. These aren't all the colorways that we're doing. Super basic to kind with the mountain. Turn the A into the mountain. Um, Excuse me. This is a, a next summer uh, sample. Uh, or current. This is current. This is current. made. <coughs> the shirt. The shirts are are made to back up the program that you already have. So you have this logo running on your pack right here. The D, the kind. This D right here. Um, so we're running. Same shirt, and then we'll throw the D on the back of the shirt. Something that we're working on right now is specialty inks, which is, which I think is going to be key. So, like, we're using a high density ink, and I'll throw this shirt. Here, Andy, why don't you check this one out? Uh, we'll, we'll throw the shirt out so you can, so you can uh, feel the inks. We're using reflective inks. We're using high density inks. Um, I'm trying to get some texture going. I, I would like to go way out, on a, you know, way out there with it. But we're kind of, since we're introducing this thing, you can't get too, too crazy with the graphics. Um, this is called Backcountry. Small front graphic, and I'll, I'll pass this stuff around so you guys can see it. Um, it's a like this. Um, High density, the long sleeve version, down the sleeve with a small front print, and uh, what this has is got high density, high density here and reflective. You can see the reflective. You can probably see it better. You can see the reflective in it. Mike, just a small question. Being in the southern hemisphere without a sink in terms of seasons, if I wanted to take samples of this and sell it in March and take it. Yeah, because I, I got a low minimum on it. And Snow Fox, the same thing? No, Chica said no. So yeah. this, um, but know, the all terrain is okay. Yeah, yeah. The summer, summer line, big plumerias. Uh, this thing actually did really well. You got to think now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Hawaii, Puerto Rico, California, I'm thinking not a lot of season and high density on top of a design. So like from the front, you'll see it that way. But from the side, as you begin to look at it and you pick the shirt up and go eye level, you'll see the Hawaiian Islands are lifted into the shirt. And that's the lenticular printing. Aloha. Aloha. Okay, so what we got here is small front logo. So we got a little bit of brand identification and we've got a just updated version of the oldest logo of the comedy, which is stacked. And then what we're using is a nice background for it. And then I'm running double white, and then I'm running a high density. So this is a high density orange. So when you feel this kind of stuff, um, and you'll see the reflective works better on the dark colors. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it in the light. Either. You'll be able to see it. Um, so what I did is I took a hex in blue, use light blue, then put a reflective and a high density on top of it. But anytime you're using multiple density inks and reflectives and anything like that, that's going to put you right in the same ballpark as these shirts and I'm pulling them and I'm going, uh, this is okay. And then you really start to pull them, they start to crack. And then I just, I was, I was devastated. But anyway, that's the only thing I explain. But it happens, you know, you try it. And that's it. This is what we're taking here is we're getting some some lava from Hawaii and you're getting the blues and you're getting a, a feel of it. Um, so they actually, with a white base, prints equally well on a black and white. Awesome. That's a nice one. He says it's supposed to be reflective. Yeah, it's good. Got that honeycomb effect in the background, it's nice. Mm -hmm. This is a little more, th these shirts that I'm going to show you right now, actually, uh, were really popular for us. The trip, small little box. Anytime you have something real small like this, it becomes a little more cutting edge, right? So what we did is we threw it on print, arm print, then we moved surf, kite, surf.